and welcome to Easy Gluten Free. Today we're making a big batch of ratatouille. This is the perfect recipe to showcase all those summer veggies that are everywhere right now. It's great with grilled meats or fish, or you could even serve it all by itself as a light summer main course. And I'm starting out here with a very large eggplant, a pair of summer squash, a couple of zucchinis, two small red peppers, a large yellow onion, and three or four cloves of garlic. And you'll want to dice all the veggies to around the same size and keep them separated. Now on a very large skillet over a medium heat, with a few tablespoons of olive oil, I'm starting out here with half the eggplant and a little salt and pepper. And we're going to saute here for a few minutes, stirring as necessary, until the pieces have some color on all sides, while still maintaining some structure and bite. And this is why you don't want to overcrowd the pan with all the eggplant at once. You want to try and make sure most of the veggies have some contact with the pan so they can brown and develop maximum flavor. And once they're done, get them out of the pan and add the other half of the eggplant. And with each addition, you need to add a little more oil and salt and pepper as necessary. Then follow the same principles of not overcrowding or overcooking anything while aiming to get a nice golden color on all sides for maximum flavor. And once that batch is done, we can add in the summer squash. And again, you'll need a little more olive oil and salt and pepper, then saute, turning every few minutes just until they begin to soften and get that golden color. Now repeat with the zucchini. And it is important to take your time with this dish and do the veggies one at a time since they all have different cooking rates and you want to ensure that each veggie is perfectly done before they come together later. And once they are all done, and I did keep them all separate up to this point, we can work on the sauce for this dish. Now I do like to add the chopped onions and red peppers together since they both have similar cooking times. And once they've sauteed for a few minutes, with a little more salt and pepper of course, clear a space in the pan and toss in the sliced garlic and a little more oil. And after toasting that for a minute, mix it all together. Now add a 6 ounce can of tomato paste, give it a stir, and let it mingle with these veggies for a minute or two. Then add a cup of water to dilute the paste into more of a sauce consistency, then slide all those veggies back into the pan. Give it a good stir and add some fresh herbs. And I've got about two tablespoons of chopped parsley and a tablespoon of fresh thyme leaves here. Now stir it all together and at this point you can either load it into a casserole dish and bake it in a 325 degree oven for a half an hour or finish it right here on the stove top over a low heat for 10 or 15 minutes and you've got yourself the perfect side dish my friends. But actually, my favorite way to eat this during the summer is serving it at room temperature. And you could actually elevate the look a little by loading it into a ring mold and adding something fresh right on top like this gorgeous grape tomato and herb salad and a drizzle of balsamic reduction. Now come on folks, isn't this a beautiful light summer lunch? And if you need a printed copy of this recipe, you could always visit my blog at the link below. And for brand new recipes every week, don't forget to subscribe. See you again soon.